Hello friends, this is our first video on partnership and shares. Today we are going to solve different type of questions with different methods. Now type 1. In this I stand for investment, T stand for time and P stand for profit. Suppose there are two persons A and B. They start a business with I1, I2. For time, T1, T2. Now, if we need to calculate profit ratio, then it will be I1, T1, ratio, I2, T2, ratio. Now, if in question there is given P for A, it's P1, for B, it's P2 and profit and time is given you need to calculate investment then it is P1 divided by T1 P2 divided by T2 if uh, investment and profit is given and we need to calculate time then it is P1 I1 ratio P2 I2 Now there is a question in which investment is given in ratio for A B and C There are three partners and profit is given in this ratio and we need to calculate time in for which they invested for this we discussed a formula according to that P1 I1 ratio P2 I2 ratio P3 I3 Now 2 by 4 3 by 5 2 4 by 6 1 by 2 ratio 3 by 5 ratio 2 by 3 now if we multiply 30 in all of these 30 divided by 2 ratio 3 into 30 divided by 5 ratio 2 into 30 divided by 3 cancel this cancel this 15. Now the required answer is 15 ratio 18 ratio 20. This is your T1, this is your T2 and this is your T3. Now we are going to discuss type 2 question. In this A and B started a business with cap capital of 16,000 and 12,000. After three months, after three months, A withdrawal five thousand and B invested five thousand. So this is seventeen thousand and this is eleven thousand and the Question This is given after six months. C join a business with capital of twenty one thousand, and at the end of the year, they get the profit of two six four zero zero. 
Now we need to calculate the profit of A, B and C. Now we see that A is investment. It is 16,000. Now we see that there is 3 month match. 16,000 for 3 month. Then rest 11,000 for 9 months. Now B 12,000 for 3 months and 17,000 for 9 months and C 21,000 for 6 months. After calculating, we see that A ratio, B ratio, C, it will be 7 ratio, 9 ratio, 6. Now we add all of these which is equals to 22. Now we have profit of 26400. <clears throat> we divide this by 22. We get one part is equals to 1200. Now one part is equals to 1200. Seven part is equals to 8400. Ninth part is equal to 10800. Zero, zero, zero. Sixth part is equal to 7200. This is share of A, this is a share of B, and this is a share of C. Now, here is type 3 question. In this question, there is 3 person A, B, C. Their investment and for their time. Investment for their time. Investment time. He invested 1 by 4th of the capital for 1 by 4th of total time. We invested 1 by 5 of a capital for 1 by 2 of a time. C investment <coughs> remaining. So we calculate remaining by 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5 1 minus. <coughs> so we can get 11 by 20. So C invested 11 by 20 of total capital for whole time. Let us suppose 1. Now, let suppo suppose investment is equal to x and total time equals to t. Now, profit in the end of the year is 2280. And we need to calculate profit of A, B and C. In this question, we take profit ratio 1 by 4 of X into 1 by 4 of time ratio 1 by 5 X 1 by 2 time ratio 11 by 20 x into 1 into t. We cancel xt, xt from all. We get 1 by 16 ratio 1 by 10 ratio 11 by 20. We multiply this by 80 80 divided by 10 80 into now by 20 we get 5 
ratio 8 ratio 44 now we need to calculate share of A share of A is equals to 5 into 2280 divided by 5 plus 8 plus 44 equals to 57 now this is 200 for B 8 into 2280 divided by 57 is equals to 320 and C 44 into 2280 divided by 57 is equals to 1760 this is your answer now there is type 4 question the question is Two partner invested rupees 12500 and rupees 8500 and they agreed the 60% of the profit should be divided equal between them and the remaining part of profit is treated as on capital and one received 240 rupees more than the other find the profit. Now, let us suppose A and B. A invested 1, 2, 5, 0, 0. 8, 5, 0, 0. We calculate the ratio. 17, 25. Now 25 and 17. Difference between them is 8. Now according to the question, one received 240 more than other. So A received 8 more than 17. So 8 part is equals to 240. One part is equals to 30. Now 25th part is equals to 750. And 17th part is equals to 510. Now 750 plus plus 510 gives you 0, 6, 1, 2, which is equals to 40 percent because 60 percent should be divided equally. The remaining 40 percent is 1260 now if we calculate 100% it is 1260 into 100 divided by 40 which is 3150 this is your total profit now here is the question A and B started a business with rupees 20,000 and 35,000 respectively and decided to share their profit based on capital. Now, C joined the business on condition that they will share their profit equally for C and C gave a premium of 220000 to A and B. Calculate the share of A and B from that premium. Solve this by your own. Hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching us. Please subscribe us.